Hey there, it's Crystal Everdeen, and today I want to share with you how to crochet this Stars and Stripes cardigan. For this project, you're going to need red, white, and blue yarn. I do not know how much of each of these colors I've used for this project, but all of these are size 4, 100% acrylic, and if you want to get the same ones that I'm using, I will link some yarn in the description box down below via my Amazon affiliate links as well as the hook I'm using which is a size 5 millimeter hook and again links to everything will be in the description box below and with that let's go ahead and get started okay so first things first we need to learn how to make these star squares because we need to make a ton of them for this project so we're going to be using the white and the blue yarn starting with the white yarn to make the star. So grab your white yarn, you're going to create a slip knot. And if you're a complete beginner to crochet, I do have a crocheting for beginners video linked in the description box below as well. So you can go ahead and practice with that, learn all of the stitches, maybe try out some more beginner friendly um, tutorials first and then come back to this one. Um, so after you create your slip stitch, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to go back into the very first stitch that you made, and you're going to create a single crochet. You're just going to be left with a little cluster like this. So from here, you're going to try and find the center of that cluster, and you're actually going to create a double crochet within that center, like so. And then you're actually going to continue making a total of eight double crochets in that same center stitch, which may be a little bit difficult to see. You just kind of have to stab the middle of that little cluster and then make your double crochet and then go back into that center and then make your double crochet. So again, a total of eight double crochets in that one center opening. And that's going to create a little ring, a little circle, and that's what we're going to build our star off of. And we need to make eight of them so that we have an even amount. It's also a good size for the star as well, so I actually lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold on, seven... And then we're going to go ahead and make the last one to go into that center, make that double crochet, and your project should look something like this now. So from here, we're going to complete this row by slip stitching into the very first double crochet that we made, like that, and now it's all complete. So we're going to actually make one more row all around and then we're going to actually make the uh, points of the star. So from here you're just going to make a row of half double crochet this time. And half double crochet, if you're not familiar, is yarn over through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through all three loops, yarn over through the stitch, yarn over, back through the stitch, yarn over through all three loops. And you're going to make eight of those all around the circle that you just created until you get to the first half double crochet that you created. And once we reach that point, we're going to start making the star shape. So just a couple more here. And this is what the project looks like. I need a couple more right here to make it fully round. Oop. Okay, so this is the last one. Woo, this is what the project looks like. A circle, and then from here we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Your project will look like this. And this is how we're going to make the points. You're going to use various uh, stitches of various lengths to make that shape. So for the first stitch back on the chain, you're going to use a single crochet. And then for the second stitch, you're going to use a half double crochet. 
And then for that third stitch of the chain, you're going to use a double crochet. And then for that last stitch on the chain, you're going to use a triple crochet. So that's yarn over through the stitch, yarn over back through the stitch, chain one, then yarn over through two loops and yarn over through the last two loops. So after that, you're going to skip a stitch and you're going to go into this next one with a slip stitch to attach the little point that you just created. See? So it's a little triangle because you started with a small stitch and then progressively got bigger and bigger as you reached the bottom. So the bottom is wider than the top, making the little star shape. So from here, you're just going to repeat the process. You're going to chain five, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to go back on that chain with first a single crochet and then a half double crochet and then a double crochet. And then for the last one, it's going to be a triple crochet. So chain one. Then through two loops and through the last two loops. And you're going to skip a stitch, go into that next stitch, and you're going to slip stitch to attach it. Ah! So you're going to go around the circle like that, um, making these little triangle shapes. And once you reach this point right here, then you're done with the star, and you should be making a total of five points. So again, from here, you're going to chain five, two, three, four, five, and then go back on that chain first with a single crochet, then with a half double crochet, then with a double crochet, and then with a triple crochet. And then chain one, through two loops, and through the last two loops. Skip a stitch, go into that next one, and slip stitch. So you attach them. Yay! So you made half your star here. So we're just going to make two more. One right here, one right here, and be done with the star. So I will get back to you once I've completed that. Okay, so I've completed my little star by just following the same steps that I mentioned to you earlier, and this is what the project should look like. And from here, you're just going to cut the yarn from the yarn ball. We're not going to be using the white anymore for this star square. And now we're going to grab the blue yarn and we're going to attach it to the star to make the uh, square shape around it. Now, uh, I do need to tell you that I have yet to master this part of the uh, project. I feel like all my squares come out a little bit wonky. I'm not sure if there's like a proper way to do it, but this is how I figured out how to do mine. Um, so uh, sorry if it's a little, you know, kind of making it up as I go along. That's kind of what I do with all my projects actually. But anywho, so you're going to attach the blue yarn to one of the um, points of the star. And from here, you're kind of going to do similar to what you did to make the points. So at the top here, I'm just going to make a single crochet and then as I go to the bottom, I'm going to make larger um, stitches. So from here, I actually just graduate to double crochet and then for the next one, I do a triple crochet and then I go to the point down here, or I guess like the very bottom, and then I do, I don't even know what it's called, but I pretty much chain three. And then I, or rather I chain two, and then I um, complete the stitch. So it's like smaller to bigger stitches. So it could end up being even. Does that make sense? Um, again, just totally made that up. And I feel like it worked for me, but if you have any other suggestions on how I could do this better, please let me know. Um, because I feel like every square of mine does come out a little bit different every time and if there's just a way where I can make them um, all look the same, more uniform, that would be great. But yeah, as of now this is what I do. So um, then I do the opposite where I start from the bottom making the larger stitches working my way up and making them smaller and smaller. And then as I get to the very top, I go to the other side starting off with a single crochet and then working my way down 
with that double crochet and then my triple crochet and then my larger crochet stitch at the very bottom where I chain two and then complete the stitch and it looks something like this so kind of seeing the square shape right okay so I'm just going to continue doing that all around the star okay so I went ahead and followed that same pattern all around the star and I'm about to complete it right now I just got to do one more double crochet and then seal it off with a single crochet and what comes next is the part where I think everything starts to get wonky so this is what it looks like it looks great right it follows like the star shape but the thing is we don't want it to follow the star shape we want to make it an actual square and what throws it off is this point right here otherwise it would be really easy to make this a square um, so that's why I think that all of these look just a little bit off just because this part is kind of hard to make it into a square um, but this is what I've been doing so I tried to make my own points so these two points I keep but then once I get like up here I try to make a point right here as well as right here that way this can kind of flatten out and hopefully that makes sense so from here um, we're going to make a row of half double crochet so you're just going to follow along all of the stitches that you made in the previous row and just make a half double crochet stitch on top of it and what's important is when you go to where you want the edges to be so again my first stitch is easy I just want to make it the point that it's already at so once I reach that edge I'm going to create three half double crochets inside of that one stitch to kind of maintain the fact that it's going to be an edge and then from here I'm going to go this way now and just make one half double crochet per stitch as I go along the bottom of the star here and it's the um, edging that's going to really make this shape that we want so it's really important to map out where you want the edges to be See now it's more structured. So these two again are the easy ones since they're at the bottom of the star and they already kind of make a linear shape. But now I'm approaching where I want the second corner to be. So I'm going to make three half double crochets inside of that one stitch. Alrighty then, and then from here I'm going to now go this way, and this is where we're going to get a little bit more complicated because we're not going to end the or start the edge right here like we did for the other two points. We're going to try and make one over here. So we kind of have to fill in a gap right here as well. So hopefully this doesn't get too confusing, but I'll try my best to explain to you what I'm doing. So for now I am just making my half double crochets in every stitch until I get to the complicated area. <laughs> so um, right here I'm going to kind of force a new shape. So I'm kind of going to do what I was doing before where I'm going to make the stitches larger as I go down and then try to try to build it so that it's more of a square. So from here I'm going to do a double crochet and then as I go down I'm going to do a triple crochet and then as I reach this point right here I'm going to make that two chains and then um, finish the stitch stitch. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, yeah so this is where I want the point to be right so I'm actually going to make three of those really big stitches in this one spot so created three right here and that's going to hopefully look like a corner piece again it's going to look a little bit wonky at first so yeah and then from here I'm just going to complete this little area with a double crochet and then I'm going to just continue on making my half double crochets 
throughout the rest of this area. And then once I get to this little curve right here, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on this side. And you can see that it's more of a square now. You kind of just have to fill in that um, curve that it has and then try to make it straight. So again, from here, I'm just doing my um, half double crochets until I reach the little curve. And then once I reach the little curve, I need to build on it. So I'm going to do my double crochet and then my triple crochet and then three of those really big stitches that contain two chains and then going through two loops and then the last two loops. So I'm going to make three of those, two and three. And then from here I'm going to complete the rest of it with my triple crochet and then a double crochet. Yeah. And then continue on with my half double crochets for the rest of the project. And this is what it looks like. So again, you kind of have to force that square shape by building it yourself and it's not going to look perfect unless of course you have a better method than I do. <laughs> but um, I feel like it looks good enough. Like that's that's good enough, right? They are all looking a little bit different, but I think that's the charm of it. It looks handmade because it is handmade. <laughs> so it's not perfect. So I'm just going to go all around it once more with a half double crochet. Every time I reach the edges right here, I'm just going to do three half double crochets on all of them, even these ones. And that should even everything out and look a little bit more polished. So yeah, I'm just going to go around with a half double crochet and I will go ahead and meet you at the end. Okay, so I went all around the square with another row of half double crochet and this is the end right here. So to end it, I'm just going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch and then I'm going to cut the yarn from the yarn ball bring the excess through the loop on the project and then I'm going to tuck in the excess for now so it's out of the way and this is your little um, star square and you're going to do that 17 more times <laughs> and make a ton of these because we need them for the project. We're only we're not only going to use them for the front portion of the cardigan, but we're also going to use it for the back. But it's not going to be all, you know, um, star squares. We're actually going to make some white squares to put in between the star squares. So next up, we need to learn how to make the little white squares, which is much easier than the stars. So the stars was actually the hardest part. So if you're frustrated with the stars, don't worry, it gets easier from here, but the stars are obviously important. So um, yes, we're going to now learn how to make these white squares. So after you have mastered how to make these star squares, Let's move on to the white squares. So to make the white squares, we're going to of course use the white yarn and we're going to start off by making that slip knot. And then we're going to chain three. We're actually going to start off the exact same way um, we start the stars. So one, two, three chains. We're going to go back into that first chain that we created and we're going to make a single crochet and then from here we're going to make eight double crochets inside of that center stitch so find that center stitch and create your double crochets a total of eight of them in the same center stitch so it will eventually become a circle and you may be like why are we going to make a circle if we're going to um, want to make it into a square? Well, it's actually much easier to make it into a square as opposed to the stars that we just created. So yes, make your eight double crochets inside of that one opening. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
two more, seven, and eight. And then now that I've created my eight double crochets, I'm going to complete this row by slip stitching into that first double crochet that I created in the row. And now I have my little circle, which is going to be the base of my square. So from here, I'm actually just going to build on top of this even, similar to the star, and I'm just going to make another row of um, half double crochet this time just to make it a little bit bigger, and then we'll start making it into a square. So I'm just going to go around and make one more row with a half double crochet this time, so we'll meet you at the end. And now that I've completed my eight half double crochets, I'm going to map out where I want the uh, square to form. So, I mean, it's a circle, so I could really cho choose anywhere. But since I ended right here, I'll just start from right here. So every time I want there to be a point, like, you know, from, like, you know, right here, one of these points, I'm just going to create three half double crochets inside of that stitch. So from here, I've already made one, so I'm going to go into the exact same stitch and make two more half double crochets inside of this same stitch. And it's going to stand out against the rest of the project, and it's now going to be a little corner, which is going to be one of the corners for this square. So it's going to start off as a little square, and then it's going to build on top of it as you go um, further and further along the project. So I'll make one here. I'll just make a regular half double crochet in these stitches, and then I want the second point to be right here, so then this is where I will make three half double crochets inside one stitch, and then I will make one per stitch as normal until I get to this point where I want to make the third um, corner, and then I'm going to crochet three, and then I'm going to crochet normal until I get to this corner, and then I'll crochet three, so it could be another edge, and then I'll have a little square. So that's pretty much how I make those squares. So here's where I want to make my second corner. So I'm going to create three half double crochets inside of that one stitch. So it's going to be my third half double crochet, and voila, I have made yet another corner, and it's looking more like it's going to be shaped like a square. So again, I'm going to go into the next two stitches with just one half double crochet, and then I'm going to go into that third stitch where I want to make the next corner, and I'm going to create three double half double crochets inside of that one stitch, and voila. Now I just need to make that last one at the bottom, and we'll have a little square. So again, we're going to go into the next two stitches with just one half double crochet and then once we reach that third stitch where we want to make a point we're going to create three half double crochets inside of that one stitch and we've made a little square so this is what the project should look like and from here super duper easy we're just going to continue building upon this square so every time you reach the corner you're just going to make three stitches per corner and then just keep building and building and building. Eventually it will get to this size, and you want it to be the same size as the star squares. So just keep building until you compare it to your star square and it's the same size. So again, just going all around the project here. And every time I reach the corner stitch, I'm going to create three half double crochets inside of that one stitch just to keep it building and building so as you continue on it'll look more and more like a square as well just in case your project is looking a little too round that's okay again as you continue it'll start looking more and more like a square so again every time you reach that corner stitch you're going to create three half double crochets inside of the one stitch and keep building and building and building so that's pretty much the pattern and how to create one of these plain white squares so I will continue 
with that and meet you once I am done. So again, I went ahead and continued with that pattern and grew and grew my square until it is the same size as the other squares that I made, but also the same size as the star square. That way they could be nice and even when we attach them together. So from here, I'm just going to cut the yarn from the yarn ball and then grab the excess yarn, bring it through the last loop and give it a tug, then tuck it in so it's nice and out of the way. And later I will cut all of the excess yarn off. But yeah, this is the square and you're also going to be making um, 18 of those as well. So. It's going to take you a while to make all of these squares for sure, but um, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to make the sleeves. So you know how to make all of the parts, and then once you've made all of the parts, I'll go ahead and show you how I put everything together to make the actual cardigan shape. So from here, we're going to um, complete the star squares and the white squares and once we're done with that we're going to get to work on the sleeves which is a combination of white yarn and red yarn so grab your white and red yarn and you can start off with whatever color but I'm actually going to start off with red so I'm going to grab my red yarn and then I'm going to make a slip knot and after I've made my slip knot, I'm going to chain 50 chains. Now I'm going to chain 50 because I want these sleeves to be rather baggy. So I'm going to actually measure the thickest part of my arm, which is going to be way up here. So don't measure, measure your wrist, which is the thinnest part, because then the sleeve will not fit the rest of your arm. Um, so measure out and at least make a chain that is wide enough to cover the widest part of your arm if you want a tight fit but if you want it more loose then you can um you know change it to your discretion i want mine to be pretty loose so i'm chaining 50. if you're around the same size as me and you think that my sleeves are too loose then make less chains than i do if you want them even more loose then make more chains than i do so again totally up to you so i'm just going to go ahead and make 50 chains from here. So now that I've made my 50 chains, I'm going to go back on it with a double crochet. So I'm just going to go into the stitch and make my double crochets. And the sleeves are actually going to be pretty easy because after you've made your chain, you're going to alternate between three rows of red and three rows of white. And you're just going to keep on going until you're happy with the length of the sleeve. So this is what the project looks like so far. So this is just going to be my first row of double crochet with the red. And I'm just going to go all along the chain with double crochet until I reach the end. And then I'll show you what I do at the end of the row. Okay, so now that I am at the end of the row here, I have one more stitch to go into. I'm going to make sure that I go into the very last stitch of the row. And then from here, I'm going to chain one, flip the project over, then go into the very first stitch of the new row and start my new row of double crochet on top of my previous row of double crochet. And once I reach the end of this second row, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to make sure that I go into the very last stitch of the row and then chain one, flip the project over and make one more row using the red. And then we're going to switch on over to the white and I'll show you how I switch on over to the white after I created a total of three rows of double crochet with my red yarn. So this is what the project looks like so far. I'll go ahead and get back to you once I have completed my third row. Okay, I have completed my three rows of double crochet using the red and this is what the project looks like. Now I need to switch on over to the white yarn. So I'm going to tuck away my red for now and grab my white yarn and I'm just going to attach it onto my hook like so and then bring it on through the last loop on the project. And from here, I'm just going to chain one, then continue on with the next row of double crochet per usual, uh, just with the white yarn now instead of the red yarn. So 
from here I'm going to just do the exact same thing that I have been doing making double crochets on top of the previous row of double crochets and because I want my stripes to be of even size I'm going to be making three rows using this white yarn and once I have completed my three rows using the white yarn I'm going to switch back to the red and just repeat that process until I'm happy with the length of the project. So this is what the project looks like after a few more rows of switching from red to white and of course I'm not done yet but I also wanted to show you um, how this is going to become a sleeve and the way that it's the width of the sleeve is we're actually going to fold the project like this and then attach these sides together so the project is going to now be a circle with a hole in the middle so you could put your arm and um, that is the width of the sleeve here so this is going to be the sleeve so again if you made less um, chains in the beginning it's going to be a little bit tighter if you made a more chain it's going to be a lot looser so that's why I mentioned to you to be, be sure that you measure out um, how wide you want your sleeve to be in the beginning because the chain is what's going to determine how the sleeve fits in this case and I wanted mine to be wide so that's why I made mine really wide and for the length that's what you're consistently building upon so the more rows of double crochet that you make the longer the sleeve is going to be so right now the project is at my elbow so I need to pretty much double the size of this project so I just go to keep on going until again I'm happy with the length of the sleeve and in order for you to figure that out just kind of fold it like this and try it on or you know just measure it like this um, or you know actually use a measuring tape and measure out how long it needs to be whatever you need to do to figure out how long you want the sleeve to be but yeah that's pretty much it you're just going to be continuing to repeat red and white um, throughout the project until you're happy with the length and then you'll be done with the sleeve and then you have to do that all over again for your second sleeve <laughs> but after you've completed the sleeve as well as all of your star squares and your white squares then I'll show you how to put everything together so I just finished crocheting my sleeve and this is what it looks like it is a total of 21 um, stripes so um, that's how long mine is, but of course yours could be longer or shorter depending on your size and preference. So from here I'm going to attach these two sides together so it could actually be um, a circular project instead of rectangular. So I ended off here, this was my last row. Again, I'm just going to bring the two sides together where I want them to be attached to and line them up. And I'm just going to bring my hook from one end to the other and slip stitch the two pieces together and now they're attached and I'm just going to do that all along the side of the sleeve right here so just attach these two sides together with a slip stitch so I'll go through one part of the sleeve then through the other side of the sleeve and slip, slip stitch them together go through one side of the sleeve and then through the other side of the sleeve and slip stitch them together and you're going to um, do that all along the sides here until you reach the very bottom and they're nice and attached and you'll have a full sleeve so just line them up hold them together go through one go through the other yarn over through both and slip stitch all along right here Okay, so I have completed all 16 plain white squares. I think I need 16. I'll let you know if anything changes, but as of now, I crocheted 16 white squares, as well as these star squares, as well as all of these white squares, and finally, two red and white striped sleeves. And yeah, now we're going to put everything together. Oh, it looks so cute like this. I'm actually going to set it up and take a picture because it looks super cute like this, honestly. Um, but I'll be right back after I take the picture. Okay, so now that I have taken a picture for other purposes like Instagram and stuff, I will show you 
how to put everything together so, so this is what the sleeve looks like once it's done one really long pattern here long enough so when you fold it over your arm like so you put your arm through it it actually goes all the way up to your shoulder and all the way down to your wrist so once it can do that so then you know that you're done and in order to attach it you're going to bring both sides together making sure that the stripes are looking like this they're going horizontally and they're not looking like this because then you'd have vertical stripes unless you want the vertical stripes so they would go down your arm like this but I personally like it when they go across my arm like this so yes I'm going to attach them this way so I'm just going to line them up to the adjacent um, color so that they're nice and straight and they're not alternating so I'm not accidentally attaching the red to the white stripe and then the white to the red stripe and so on and so forth it's the red with red and the white with white so from here I'm going to um, put my hook through one side as well as the adjacent other side I'm just going to slip stitch through both of the sides here so I'm going to put my hook through one side and then I'm going to put my hook through the other side and then slip stitch them together so again I'm going to put my hook through one side and then put my hook through the adjacent other side and slip stitch them together and then make sure that they're still aligned so right now I'm at the white part so I slip stitch through the white and attach them together and then slip stitch through the white part and then slip stitch through the white part again and then attach them together so go through both sides and slip stitch and now they are nice and attached and now you just have to do that all along the sleeve until you get to the bottom and then once you do that then they'll be attached like this one see voila nice and attached and it'll be a nice sleeve where you could just put it on and it won't fall apart on you yeah that's basically all you have to do in order to complete your sleeve so now that i have completed this row here of slip stitching all across the sleeves i'm going to cut the yarn from the yarn ball grab my hook and then bring the excess yarn through the last loop give it a tug and yes there is a lot of yarn that's sticking out everywhere but the thing is we are going to flip this sleeve inside out at the end so it's okay if you know it looks pretty rough right now because we're going to first attach everything and everything is going to have you know this seam here but then at the end we're going to flip everything inside out so all of this is going to be hidden okay so we got the sleeves right Woo, we got both sleeves i wonder if i could there we go Woo, we got both sleeves now we gotta fix this situation so let me just align it for you so you have a better idea of what we're going to be aiming for okay so essentially this is going to be our sweater this is going to be the sleeves and then this is going to be the patterned granny squares that we're going to use we're just going to alternate from white to star white to star white to star this is going to be the opening in the middle and then we're going to do the same thing but on the back so I'm going to attach these all together same way I attach the sleeves I'm just going to grab each square and then align them where I want them to be attached to and then I'm going to slip stitch them together right here but I'm going to make sure that I attach them when they're both facing the wrong side and the wrong side is pretty much like the ugly side <laughs> the side that you don't want to show so attach them when they're both facing the wrong side so the stitching could be right here so that when you flip them over the good side or the right side whatever will be showing and you won't really see the stitching so yes whenever you're attaching uh, any of these together be sure that you attach them on the back side the wrong side I've heard it called multiple ways so yeah just make sure that you um, attach it to the side that you are 
planning on not showing. So if you really like the way that this star looks like, then face it the other way when you're attaching them together. Okay, so for the front pieces, you could attach either six of them or eight of them, depending on how long you want your cardigan to be. Originally, I was thinking attaching six, but then I added two more because I think I like that length better, but we'll see once I try it on. So again, you could just attach six and it'll be kind of more like a crop top. Um, kind of cardigan or like cropped cardigan or you could just continue adding more and more and make the cardigan even longer so um, As of right now, I'm gonna go with eight on each side So I'm not going to attach these together right here I'm just going to attach these together as well as these together Separately like together but separately and then we're going to move on to the back Which is essentially the same thing. The only difference is that we'll attach all of the squares together and we'll also make sure that these, you know, they're different. Um, and we'll not leave a gap. The reason that we are doing the gap in the beginning is because this is a cardigan and you need the opening. Unless, of course, you want to make this a sweater, then, like a pullover sweater, then, you know, attach all of them together. But if you want it to be a cardigan, you got to leave a space in the middle in the front. So, yes, go ahead and attach them, um, this one and this one, and then align all your other stars and plain squares the same way but on the back and then attach them all together and then we'll attach all of those attachments to themselves as well as the sleeves so a lot of attaching a lot of tedious work so we'll get back to you when it's all done okay so this is what all of the star and square um, pieces should look like when they're all together. So you're going to need two of these shapes and one larger shape like this. And again, I attach all of them together with just a slip stitch, making sure that I always attach them um, the wrong sides together. So like the ugly side all facing one side and then the pretty side all facing the other side. Um, making sure that again I attach it this way so the stitching shows on the ugly side and then um, it does not show on the pretty side. So you also may be noticing that I added this little section up here. So in addition to um, attaching these all together, I decided to add this piece up here and this is what's going to be wrapping around your trap area, kind of like around your neck. Otherwise, we would just be attaching the back and the front and the way it would wrap around you um, It would make it so that the front would like go up a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, I think that you need an extra piece right here just to wrap around so that it doesn't pull this part up So um, I'm going to show you how I did it. So after I attached everything together, I reattached the blue yarn to the top of the front panel and I just basically made a few rows of half double crochet and then decreased on one side. So you can see, so it's a couple rows of half double crochet and then I just decreased on one side. This is the part that's going to wrap around my neck. So that's why I needed to decrease, but this side could have just stayed straight. So again, from here, I'm just um, attaching the blue yarn and then I'm going to make Actually, I think I made a double crochet, not half double crochet. Those look like double crochets. So, I made um, a couple rows of double crochets, and since this is going to be the opposite side to this, instead of me decreasing on the blue star, I'm going to decrease on this white square so that it decreases this way, and then it decreases this way, and then my neck will be in the middle, and it will wrap around it perfectly. So, um, again, I'm just going to make a few rows of double crochet and if you're not familiar with decreasing Basically how I decrease is whenever I get to the end of the row I um, Go into the first stitch as I normally would for the new row but then I skip the second stitch and Just continue on and little by little it starts to curve in like this because I'm decreasing the number of stitches per row and in the same area so that's why it kind of goes this way so that's what I'm going to be doing now I'm gonna figure out is this also is this a double crochet yes it is a double crochet so yes I made um, a few rows of double crochet and once I get to the end I'll show you exactly how I decrease okay so as you can see I made it to the end of the row here so here I'm going to chain one flip the project over go into the first stitch of the new row with a double crochet 
And then I'm going to skip the second stitch and go right into the next one with my double crochet. And little by little, it's going to start pulling this more and more this way. And that's what you want to achieve that shape. So I'm just going to continue uh, completing the rest of the row. However, when I get to the end of this row, I want this row to remain straight. So I'm just going to um, chain one, flip the project over, and then don't skip any stitches when you go to this side, only when you're on this side. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll tell you how many uh, rows I make um, after I'm done, because I actually don't have a plan. I don't remember how many I made on this one. I'm just going to compare sizes, and I'll let you know how many I make. Okay, so these are all of the final pieces of the cardigan. I completed eight rows of double crochet on top of the star and solid white squares. And I decreased on one side, the side that my neck is going to go. And then I did the same thing on the other side. And yeah, so these are the two front pieces. And then the back piece is just the two front pieces uh, conjoined uh, to make one large piece made up of, I believe earlier I said it was like 16 of one and 18 of the other. It is a total of 18 stars as well as 18 um, solid squares. So again, 18 total star squares and 18 total solid white squares in order to make the same cardigan that I'm making. And then you also need two sleeves. So we have our two white and red striped sleeves that we're going to attach right here and right here and our cardigan is looking a little bit more put together now isn't it now we just need to attach all of the pieces together so we attach all of the squares together to make larger pieces and now we're going to attach those pieces to one another to complete the cardigan shape and then we'll add some details afterwards so I'm just going to show you where I'm going to attach everything because everything is slip stitch. So I don't need to really show you like exactly like me doing it. I'm just going to show you where I'm going to attach everything. So I'm going to be attaching the top part of the front pieces to the top part of the back piece like so. Just slip stitching it across right here. And then again on the opposite side, I'm going to make sure that I do not attach these three pieces right here on the front and back because we want this to be open so there's space for your arm to go through. What we are going to do is attach the sleeve. We're going to open up the sleeve and attach one side to the front and then the back side to the back. And we're making sure that we do not accidentally shut it closed. We do not accidentally attach it closed because we need this to be open. So again, we're attaching this side of the sleeve to the back and then this side of the sleeve to the front. And then after we're done attaching the sleeves, we're going to attach the bottom two squares together. So just these two will be together, but the rest of them will be unattached from the other side and instead attached to the sleeve. And we're basically going to do all that again on the opposite side where we're going to attach the top portion of the front to the top portion of the back with slip stitch. We're going to leave these three squares open so do not attach them to one another because we're going to attach the sleeve Again, one side, the back side of the sleeve to the back side of the uh, stars and the squares, and the front side of the sleeve to the front side of the stars and squares. So like this, and like this. <laughs> and again, everything is going to be just slip stitch. And then once you attach the sleeve, you're just going to attach the bottom right here with a slip stitch so it's not open and flapping. And after everything is attached, we can go ahead and maybe do like a once over with a um, row of half double crochet just to even out all of these edges here if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to attach everything. And I'll come back to you once it's done. Okay, so I have attached one side of it. And this is again what I did. So I attached this part first. And then with the remaining area, I attach the sleeve, making sure that there is an opening where I can put my hand in. So I just attached it 
right here and then flipped it over and then attached it right here as well making sure that again I don't accidentally shut it closed and stitch anywhere in between here so that's one side and now I'm going to do the other side again I'm going to attach these together first just these two squares to these two squares and then with the remaining opening which is all of this as well as these two squares I'm going to attach the sleeve to the back as well as to the front here and then I'll be done. So after you attach all of the pieces together the project should look something like this. Well after you also flip it the right side in because this is what it looks like inside out and if you would like to you could sew in a lining to hide this or just cut off all of the excess yarn um, and you could even add some trimming along the edges right here with a row or two of zero crochet or any stitch that you would like just to even out the edges here and finish off the sleeve if you'd like to. I'm just going to leave everything as is because I've already spent like two weeks working on this so I'm pretty tired. I'm just excited to wear this for 4th of July so I'm just going to leave it like this for now but again there's so many different ways that you could add on top of this and make it your own, change it up a bit. But yeah that's pretty much how to make this Stars and Stripes cardigan. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you have lots of fun rocking your new cardigan. If you love free crochet tutorials I have a ton of them on my YouTube channel so you can go ahead and check out my channel for more videos and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're all at Crystal Everdeen. It's a fun time and I would be so happy to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already so I can see you next time. Bye and have a magical day. These days, under the sun together. These days, let's make them last forever. These days, these days, let's hope they last forever.